Mary. I think there's an award here somewhere. But uh, it's a great honor for me to be here with so many Bhutanese friends and uh, to introduce the honoree of the Distinguished Leadership Award, the former Prime Minister of Bhutan, Tsering Topke. Just making sure you're still around. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. You're very generous. Mel, thank you also for putting that clip together. I'm quite embarrassed. It's the first time I've seen it. Your Majesty, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to speak about enlightened leadership. But before I do that, I should first thank the Hospitality Committee of the United Nations Delegation for giving me the Distinguished Leadership Award. Thank you. Now, how do I say this? I mean, I'm honored and humbled and very, very grateful for this award. But truth be told, I do not deserve this recognition. You see, I'm just a simple public servant who has had the good fortune and the honor of serving under the enlightened leadership of our kings. To me, in enlightened leadership, leaders exercise wisdom, compassion, and courage. Three virtues of the Riksum Gyumba, these are bodhisattvas or enlightened beings that choose a life of service instead of entering nirvana. Enlightened leadership is why in Bhutan we have made good social progress in healthcare, education, and poverty reduction, even though we are a poor country. Enlightened leadership is why Bhutan is the world's custodian of a unique culture and tradition, even though we are a small country. Enlightened leadership is why Bhutan has a flourishing democracy, a democracy that was imposed by a loving king on his reluctant people. Enlightened leadership is why Bhutan is a carbon negative country, sequestering three times more carbon than it emits. In Bhutan, enlightened leadership is a legacy of our beloved kings. The world needs more enlightened leaders. The world needs leaders with wisdom, leaders who have the wisdom to accept the realities of climate change, that it is an existential threat. The world needs leaders with compassion, who can feel the pain and suffering of the victims of climate change today and those of our tomorrows. The world needs leaders with courage. The courage to do the right, the courage to do what's good, the courage to do what's just, the courage to act now. Tonight, Excellencies, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are among leaders from all over the world. I call on you to exercise enlightened leadership. The world, our world, desperately needs you. I would like to 
respectfully dedicate this award to an epitome of enlightened leadership, His Majesty the King Jigmi Kesan Namge Wangchuk. May his example be an inspiration to leaders throughout the world. Thank you very much. Thank you.